In this video, I am going to show you how you can create this type of SVG animation using HTML and CSS. So as you can see, if I refresh, the text starts to fill by itself. This is a SVG. So you can use any type of SVG. The concept will be the same. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so first we need a SVG. So you can use any tool to create your SVG. I am going to use Figma. So I am simply going to type figma.com. After that, you can click on new design. Okay, let me expand my window. So first we are going to have to create a frame. So click here and then you can create a frame like so. And then you need to have some text or whatever SVG you want. So I am going to use the pencil tool but you can use the pen tool also. Now you have to draw some SVG. So let me try to draw that hello. Okay, this is not that good but this should be good enough for our purpose. Okay, so now I am going to change my tool back to the move tool. Now select this. And I can change the thickness of my SVG by making this a larger number. So for example, 5, 6, let's make it 10. Okay, now we can also change the color. So if you click here and we can choose a gradient. So we are going to click on linear for linear gradient. And let's change the angle also. So let's say it will be like this. And our starting color can be some orange color. So let's try this color. Actually, let's try this. And our end color can be some pinkish color. So let's try this color. And the opacity will be also 100%. Okay, change it back to that pink. And yeah, this should be good enough. Let's quickly resize our frame. So we can select your frame and then resize it. So about this should be good. And then you are, you are going to select this frame again and click on export. And make sure you choose SVG here. So by default it will be PNG or JPG. You select SVG and then click on export. And then if you now click on this, it will open it up in Chrome. Then you can right click and click on view, view page source. And then you'll be able to see the code of your SVG. The codes are what we need in our project. So now we can create our index.html. So we are going to create the index.html. And the style.css. Okay, in the index.html, let's create our basic markup. So we can type exclamation mark and press tab and it will generate a basic boilerplate. And then we can use the link tag to link our CSS. So we're going to say link and it will be style.css. Like so. Let me close the sidebar. And here we can simply copy this code. So control C and paste it. Control V. Save. And now if you were to open it up in our browser. As you can see, we get this hello text. Okay, let me fix the indentation. Okay, now I want this SVG to be centered. So let's go to our style.css. Okay, before that, let me give this a class or ID. Let's give it an ID of let's say text. It should be equal sign. And let's go to our style.css. So first thing we are going to do is say HTML and our body. Both of them should have a height of 100%. So we are going to say height of 100%. After that, we can just select our body. Let's say our body will have a display of flex. So display of flex. We are going to say justify content to center. So justify content center and align items to also center. Save. And now our SVG is centered. And we can change the width or height of our SVG. So we can target our SVG. So hashtag SVG. And let's give it. Okay, it, it was hashtag text, not SVG, so hashtag text. And then let's say the height can be, let's try 40 viewport width. And the width can be, let's say 80 viewport width, so width of 80 viewport width, save. And now this is a bit bigger, so we can make it a bit more larger. So let's say the height can be 50 viewport width. And now this is even bigger. Okay, so now we just have to make that animation. So for that we need to know the stroke dash array of our SVG. The stroke dash array is used to define the pattern of dashes and gaps. So first thing we need to do is get the stroke dash array of our SVG. So for that you can right click and click on inspect. After that select your SVG and you can again right click and click on copy. And then copy JS path. So then we can paste it. So control V here. And we don't want the SVG, we want the path inside the SVG, so path. So if I now go to the HTML, 
as you can see you have we have this path we, we are selecting that path and now we need to get the stroke dash array of this path so for that we can simply say dot get total length so get total length this is a function so you can call it and you'll see a value so this is the value that we need so in the css we're simply going to say stroke dash array so stroke dash array the stroke dash array we got is 3186 we can leave the decimal numbers we don't need them so we are going to say 3186 save now this will not do anything but if we now were to say stroke dash offset so stroke dash offset and set it to some some number so for example 100 now we can we can see that O part. So if we were to say 1000, now a bigger portion of the, our SVG is hidden. If we now were to say 3186, save, and now we can see our SVG at all. So we can use this stroke dash offset to reveal our SVG. So at zero, the SVG will be fully visible, and, and at 3186, it will be hidden. So using that, we can animate it. So let's give it an animation. So we're going to say animation. The animation duration can be let's say 3 seconds and let's call it fill is VG. And the animation easing function can be linear. Now let's create that animation. So we're going to say add keyframes. And our animation name is fill is VG. So fill as VG. Okay, so at 0%, our stroke dash offset will be 1. 3186 because we know when we set the stroke dash offset to 3186 the SVG will be fully visible and at 100% the SVG will SVG stroke dash offset will be zero because at that point the SVG will be fully revealed so if you now save it as you can see we get our desired fill effect so just like this you can use any SVG get the stroke dash array of that and animate it using the stroke dash offset so i hope you found this video useful if so don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time